<sighs> I just don't know. This is what happens when you... How you come? Check out that second unit. And of course, as soon as I want to end in modal, I'll come back. I'll go to a store run, charge up you guys, and a fucking animal comes, and it's leaving. Fuck. This sucks, dude. And plus, it looks like I can't ride on these anyway. They're not rideables. Oh well. We got a dilemma here. Should we wait it out? Or should we hop on it? Because anything that's on the second track going eastbound, it's gonna either be uh so sighted out or um destined for the yard. But I've noticed 90% of the trains that come over this way are eastbound. That stops over here is eastbound. So, I guess we'll just figure it out. I would hop on it uh, on the fly, but I got a doggums here, dude. So, the ultimate deal is figure it out, right? I decided to get a hotel and then from there I'm gonna hitchhike and leave the train alone for a little bit um, I was in so much fucking pain right uh, a little while ago uh, so this is the direction I need to go to the road plus I need to charge guys and it's gonna rain for today and tomorrow I'm not gonna deal with two nights of fucking rainy and being underneath of a tarp. So I'm just waiting for this engineer to slowly make his way to wherever. I think I just ripped a hole in my pants.
<sighs> Gotta wake everybody up. If I'm up, everybody's up, right? No, I'm just joking. Uh, so, yeah, I'm in a hotel. Um, I had to get myself out of the train tracks, out of that environment, because my brain was being very indecisive, and that's how most injuries occur, is being very stupid, indecisive, and pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Well, I'm going to get to my room. We'll see you back outside. And that was my room for the night. Or yesterday night. Whatever. <laughs>you guys can see it that light right there is actually the engine and I think they spotted me too all right let's zoom in but yeah that's the engine there if they move up and save me a, like 30 not 30 but like to say within like Sixteen, seventeen carts. I'll be fine. But the engine is just like right freaking there. They could definitely see me and my dog. And I believe that's a rideable right there too. Like damn. Pretty much rideables. I could see. Mm. But I don't think we're going to catch this puppy dog. Which is going to suck. But that's okay. I'm going to see if I can meander down that way. And try to hop on. Don't know. But there is a bend in the tracks down that way. Because if we get in a bend, they definitely can't see us. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's starting to drizzle. Been stuck in it for the last uh, four hours. 
a little bit cold. So that's what I got wearing. I guess we can kiss this puppy dog goodbye. Alright. I gotta get a move on. I know this facility is probably like, fuck is going on with this guy? He's been here for too long. Uh, I don't feel like waiting on the intermodal. It's drizzling. It's getting wet. Um, I, I really got to make some distance because I've been here for two weeks and a half. So I think it's time to pull our magic and uh, hitchhiking. But first thing is first. We're waiting on our Uber driver to get us to the truck stop. I don't feel like walking a little over five miles in the rain. But 8 a.m., it was nice knowing you. Decatur Yard, it was nice meeting you. Thank you for letting me camp in your woods. I'll see you next time in Neverland. Meaning I'll probably never come back to this place. But let's go. Success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't want to let myself down myself.